nothing in the world is permanent and we're foolish when we ask anything to last but surely we are still more foolish not to take delight while it is here Somerset Mon. These are century plants. And they will bloom soon, as you see. They're in my yard, and they are a big part of our yard. But guess what? They die after they bloom. Hence my quote, nothing is permanent. So I wanted to stay outside to finish talking to you, but come on, it's June 30th. <laughs> it's hot outside. We need to delight in what we already have. That means to look at the glass half full instead of half empty. To be grateful for what we possess now. Because truly in life things change and things are impermanent. You may not have those things. And what this material world is about is learning to roll with the changes. Like my century plants who will soon die, my pets, myself, all of you, and our world around us changes. For those of us who like stability and like things to stay the same, that causes anxiety and fear. But if we can, on a daily basis, really realize that step by step, every moment, we change. So we're looking at even the earth and the natural world changing. We have earth changes. And so where there are floods, where there shouldn't be cold, where there shouldn't be drought, all of it turning upside down. For us, that creates fear. What we need to do is just stay vigilant. Not to be alarmed, but to stay vigilant, knowing that things are going to change. And also, economically, politically, and socially, we have seen change. Whether you like what's happening with our government or not, it's happening. And this is energy that's not just coming from the people elected or from ourselves. This is energy coming from the universe. Remember back in the 60s, the age of Aquarius coming? Hey, we're here. And it's really clear that there is going to be movement. And this is good. If you look at history, there are periods of time that you go into into chaos and then into movement. We're moving forward. And I was writing to a client after the election and I got that the divine feminine is coming in. What's happening is the voices of women are going to be heard and women are going to be more in power and as a result, women are going to clean up the earth, 
clean up the, the world, clean up ourselves so that we can have more peace and harmony. This is going to take time. But it also is going to create some chaos. And so this change may not be very safe. It may not be very fun. But the way that you can get through it, all of us, over the next 20 years, you can go within yourself. Whatever you believe, whatever is your foundation, your cornerstone, now is the time to spend more time pondering, reading books, reading spiritual books, meditating, and listening to your inner voice. There's a difference between knowledge and truth. And when you listen to your inner truth, you will know what to do. Air conditioning just came on. <laughs> so, in closing, know that the change, all change, just is. And that the change coming for us in the meantime may be difficult but in the long run it's for the best i'm holding hope in my heart for all of you you have a great month and i'll see you next time